and this is our bulldog just laying out in the sun. What the hell? I'm pumping super slow and it keeps backing up. Why? Why do I have to go so slow and why is it backing up? Come on, dude. Why? Why? Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. Ten minutes and I've gotten 4.9 gallons. This is as fast as I can fill up. I've been here for like 20 minutes to do 20 gallons. It's ridiculous. Go any faster and it overflows. Just like that, it stops. Come on. Juicy girl is thirsty. You get the point, it goes in there. So. On second look here, I'm not happy with what they did. They didn't seal this light. They went through the light fixture here on the top of the, on the roof of the truck, and there's a freaking gap. Not smart. What the hell are they thinking? Back at race side. Issues. Like? Grease all over the inside, and the where he mounted the antenna, mm -hmm. he lifted up the light, but he it's like there's a gap like that, like it was never resealed. Have a good one. What's going on? What <laughs> It wasn't done right, and there was grease all up inside the my my rig, so and. Uh, I realized also there was an issue from when they installed the uh, auxiliary tank. There was the, I couldn't fill up. It would take forever. I had to go at the very, very slowest. So, hopefully everything's good now. <laughs> so, Matt just said they're pulling it around now. So, yeah. <laughs> hopefully. All right, thank you. What a long, long day. It's 5.30, so I dropped the truck off today at like 10.40, and um, they called me at 12.50, saying that the truck was ready to be picked up. Showed up about a half an hour later, and, uh, you know, that's when I realized that the uh, Timbrin suspension system was not installed. So, they pop it in, you know, it takes about a half an hour or less, and uh, I'm on my way. Stop to uh, fill up. Juicy girl here, she needed to be filled up, and um, it took me forever to um, to fill her up. You know, uh, the last few times um, I've tried filling up, it's just I thought at the initial time it was just the certain fuel pump or something, just like a random thing, and um, that wasn't the case. So. You know, after seeing the grease on my headliner and all over the area here, um, and then seeing the antenna for the cell phone booster um, not sealed up, I went back and had them address all the issues, and they think they may have fixed the uh, fuel uh, issue backing up. They cleaned up the interior and. Um, you know, they siliconed up that uh, antenna. Supposedly, it was silicone the first time, but I didn't see any. Um, it could have been, but, you know, 
always definitely better to be safe and feel better about it but um you know it took all day and um it's very very frustrating because i killed my whole day and um you know they didn't really jump at it when i came back the second time to uh to get those items fixed they kind of took their time so um as a business owner you know I, I like to take care of my customers and these guys are nice over there but um i just wish you know when they don't do things right or um especially two times in a row in one day um that they would make up for it in some way i don't know tell me your thoughts all right so driving up the road i just noticed some considerable wind noise right above me and that's where the antenna was installed so not sure if it's the uh, little crack in where the uh, wire comes out of the light or if it's the antenna but there is some wind noise and it's i mean i was going 50 45 50 miles per hour and it was whistling so um not a good sign more issues i can hear it right now and i'm going like 30. <sighs> never ends never ends so now i gotta take the antenna off and see if it still whistles and if it does then it's that crack where the wire goes into the light after a long and stressful day there's nothing like some quality family time my mom always pulls this together with a weekly family dinner and it's so great to catch up with my mom my sister and of course Kato we're not going anywhere guys we're not sorry guys Come on, go peepees. Go peepees. So the fridge has frozen up and the uh, hasn't been maintaining a good temperature, so I had to pull everything out. And something also really stinks in it, but uh, I'm gonna defrost it using the heat gun. See how that works. But, uh, yeah, something really smells. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Road Warrior. Tune into next episode as Kato goes through a frightening experience and gets attacked by a dog. <laughs> <laughs>